Hello and welcome to the short vort on Parshas Baaloscha from Shlishi to Ravi. Have you ever gone to a wedding and noticed the different types of people there? You have some people who, at the smorgasbord, they'll just take a few things and that's enough for them. There are others who have to make sure they try every single delicacy there and fill the plate. And there are yet others who uh, will make sure that they get every single delicacy and when they're at the table for the suda, that they'll make sure that there's nothing a different table is getting that they're not getting. And if there is something they're not being served, they'll make sure the waiter comes over to them. Now, perhaps this last one is a little bit of an exaggeration, but we're still going to call them uh, the haredim for, for delicacies. And it's not necessarily such an exaggeration. But when it comes to mitzvahs, we also have uh, the three types of people. Some who are yotze with uh, just getting whatever minimal obligations they have to do for mitzvahs. Some are will do every mitzvah that comes their way. And the few and far between are ones that will be seeking out different mitzvahs opportunities. And the, cor- the correlation between these two groups are, are usually not strong. At the beginning of the Parsha, so Rashi asks, why was the connection of the Parsha of Menorah close to the Nisim in the previous Parsha? So Rashi explains that because Hashem um, saw that Aaron was upset that he did not have the opportunity to participate in the Korbanos of the Nisim, he nor he nor, he, nor his uh, his shevet, and so Hashem wanted to let him know that yours is greater than the, than theirs because you're going to have full time obligation for eternity. You'll be taken care of in the base mikdash, you and your tribe, the Kohanim. Uh, the Ramban says, well, why was why was Aaron upset in any case uh, if he had these opportunities? So Rabbi Cheskel Levinstein says that uh, so Aaron was one of these types of haredim for mitzvahs. He wanted every single mitzvah that he had an opportunity to. Yes, he had these mitzvahs that he was specially commanded to. But for him, that wasn't enough. On a spiritual level, he wanted to have every time there was a mitzvah, he wanted to be able to participate. So when the Nassim had the Karbanos, he wanted to be part of it. That's why he was upset. Now, if we go to our obligatory Shlishi Tervi uh, situation, we find, once again, our, um, our Haredim. It's another example in this Parsha. There are other examples, but you'll have to look at the Sefer, Yalkut Lechatov on your own. And and this is talking about between Shlishi and Ravi, where you have the those who were Tame during the time of bringing the Korban Pesach, and they want to be able to bring a Korban Pesach. Now some would have said, look, you were Tameh at the time, you were Pater from it. Be happy, you don't have to do the mitzvahs and go on um, and go on your way. But these people, they wanted to have every single mitzvah obligation they could make. They were, as we described, Haredim for these mitzvahs. Now if we go on the contrary pin- example in the Parsha, we have after Matan Torah, so the Bnei Yisrael, that they Vayasa Mehar Hashem, that they, uh, they went from Har Hashem, that after the Matan Torah, they ran away, Katina Kaporech Mepeta Sefer, like a child that runs away from school. Now, to mitigate the circumstances, you would say that these are people who uh, were commanded to leave. However, the fact that they're commanded to leave uh, is not really a great answer when you consider that when it came time after the Bizas HaYamsuf, at the bounty on the Yamsuf, that they were collecting the, the gold and silver and wealth of the Egyptians, they were also told to leave. And then there it says, Vayasa, Balk, meaning Hisi and Balkarcha, that they had to be persuaded to leave. They wanted to stay. So, you know, they should have at least on their high, Madrig, on their high level, they should have stayed uh, and wanted to stay at the place where they just received the Torah. So may we be zochah to be among those who always seek to add mitzvahs to our table and not satisfied with a few and have a wonderful week and a wonderful Shabbos. Thank you for listening and feel free to share this Torah by emailing it to your friends.